guest. What a night it's been so far. My first guest is the star of the blockbuster hit franchise Twilight, which premieres its final installment, The Twilight Saga, Breaking Dawn, Part 2, this Friday. Please welcome the beautiful Kristen Stewart! You look amazing, as always. Thanks, man. Well, yeah. yeah. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Yes. Well, you know, it's what we do. It's Wednesday. It seemed like the right thing to do. Um, <laughs> <laughs> crowd's weird. Uh, <laughs> for so much to talk about. First of all, uh, you know what I was really happy about? In this film, which is the final one in the series, you get to be a badass vampire and you get to be sexually aggressive it feels like in this role you get to really go for it in ways that are that are new from the, what your character's been going through the last couple of films is that yeah. true yeah she finally gets to be on top like jesus how long <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah that's um, how you, you know mm -hmm. yeah it feels good she has arrived fella is uh quite realized right <laughs> and and it's like it's weird because i was noticing like in the well in, in the sex scenes it feels like they're really going for this almost new technique, right? They're like, where they shoot just your face. Isn't that, right? It's like you're looking into the eyes of the camera. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice to see your own reflection while you're making schmexy faces. It's absolutely absurd, actually. No, it's got me now thinking, I want to shoot myself, just my face. I want to shoot myself. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's a level of uh, sort of uh, intensity with the fans, and there has been throughout all the movies. Is it, are they more emotional now that, that it's the last one or less? Because there was screaming and, you know, fans crying and just losing their minds. Are, have they changed at all over the years, not the last one? I would think maybe they'd even be more intense. Um, it's funny. Uh, they're all, I mean, you know, everyone's really sweet. It's really it's awesome to share that with everyone. But sometimes you go down the line and they're the ones that you can see are obviously trying to convey desperately that they are veterans, that they have been there from day one. They're like... Everyone's, you know, pretty excited. It's, you know, good night, some right. fan event, whatever, and they're like, hey, what's up? Hey, Kristen, how you doing? No, just can you sign this? Yeah. I just, I happen to be here. It's fine. I, you know, <laughs> it's like, all right, you know, you've, you've clearly gotten used to this. You've been through five years. Also, before. they're probably rolling their eyes at the, uh, you know, if someone's screaming, they're like, ugh, been there, done that. You know? <laughs> yeah. That is so three years ago. <laughs> Uh, you've been uh, with Twilight for four and a half years, and now it's done. What now? Do you know? Um, not really. No, I don't know yet. I'm like uh, in, in desperate search of a job, actually, something that I really like. Um, can't seem to make my way forth past this whole Twilight thing, you know? Right. Would you like to be an intern here at the show? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find you something to do. Screw it! Where's my coffee? <laughs> Let's go! Come on! <laughs> it's just well, uh, you must be getting like different kinds of. Uh, are, are you are you getting different kinds of roles now? Like you read scripts. People send you scripts. They desperately want you to be in their movie. Are you getting roles that are more out there? That are different? That are a departure from what you've been doing? Um. Yeah. I. I. Uh the whole girl power thing is, is such a big deal now. There's like an enormous void that has clearly been proven, you know, that there's a desire to fill that. The Twilight audience has made themselves very known. But it's, um, if you just change, like, if you just change your character name from Bobby to Sue, suddenly you're just, I mean, any, anything, anything where, like, a girl is punching another person in the face or, like, being really assertive, suddenly they're like, oh, we definitely will look at Kristen Stewart to do this one. It's like, faux girl power is really revolting. Um, so it's like they're literally sending you old Clint Eastwood scripts, but changing the name. Yeah. <laughs> and you're beating the crap out of people and then, like, puffing on a cigarette and saying, I'm out of here. Yeah, that's right. Or old Schwarzenegger roles. I wish. It's quite shocking. <laughs> uh, uh, no, I, but I just say that, that there, it's, it, it seems to me that that, that would be a danger is that people are just trying to overthink it, you know, and get you to do roles that, do you know what I mean? That just mm. like take the girl power thing, but maybe take it to an extreme. Stop thinking. What is the use in that? Just 
make a movie. It's all good. No. <laughs> what are you, high? <laughs> thinking it's all good um on a personal note i want to say that i've met your dad a couple of times uh, he, uh he's a terrific stage manager and i've i've been a guest on a few shows and done a few things that he's worked on and so we always chat and i really like him a lot i'm wondering what's all this like for him your success your insane meteoric success for him he just he must be very proud oh he loves it he's a total fame mark like, 100%. <laughs> it's true. Like, he does wear a shirt that says, I'm Kristen Stewart's father. <laughs> Basically, he really does, to yeah. be honest. You go anywhere, even if I'm not with him, he's like, hey, I'm John Stewart, father of Kristen. You do happen to, have you ever seen Twilight? Yeah. Well, that's my kid. I'm like, yeah, I'm on an airplane, lower your voice. Like, the most embarrassing thing in the world. My mom, literally, uh, when I first couple of years that I was on TV, would go to supermarket, the supermarket, and she would go through and she'd say things. To, she'd say to the cashier, like, "You like television?" <laughs> I don't know. I kind of like. You like late night television? <laughs> it's all right. You yeah. like Conan? I don't know, kind of. <laughs> you can go to a show if you want. <laughs> she doesn't talk that way at all. <laughs> That's a tropical bird that I was doing. <laughs> I know you uh, recently quit smoking. Oh. How, uh, how tough has that been for you? Are you doing the patch? Are you chewing a lot of gum? What are you doing to help you quit smoking? Um, I think I was, I was a bit of a faker. I was a circumstantial smoker. Um, the cigarettes would just sort of fall into your mouth? Yeah, so weird. <laughs> <laughs> You mean you didn't smoke that often? It was just occasionally. No, I just feel like I wasn't addicted to nicotine. I wanted something in my mouth. There you go. I had to do it. Sorry. This reminded me of the Sarah Silverman show last week. Yeah. <laughs> Why did you do that? I don't know. I'm glad you did. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad for the internet. You did say that. Um, yeah, me too. I love the internet. Um, My favorite thing. I love the internet too. <laughs> it's a problem. <laughs> Um, I found out something very interesting about you, which is you like to, uh, as, as an actor, you need to psych yourself up sometimes for an intense scene. And you have uh, kind of an unusual technique, or maybe it's not unusual, but there's, certain, there's a certain video that you like to watch, speaking of the internet. Yeah. There's a certain video that you like to check out that inspires you. Tell us what this video is. He's a phenomenal actor, and uh, I just... Um the intensity levels I've never been able to reach, and so I, 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 I sort of, uh, I watch it repeatedly and know that I could never really amount to what he's achieved, and it's just, it's inspiring, and it's, generally, it just keeps me going, so I figure we'd show people. Okay, you know. this is funny, because when I first heard this, I thought, okay, this is like the most intense scene Marlon Brando's ever done, and mm -hmm. then I find out that I don't even think this kid's an actor. If he is, he's a genius, mm -hmm. but it's a YouTube video. And if he isn't, I'm really sorry. Yeah, if he isn't an actor, he's, yeah. Well, let's take a look. 